Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 436. Yahoo! Can I have a little word with you? What's up with the keep me signed in for two weeks thing? I'm sure there's a security argument involved, but please, if I promise to be careful, maybe I could take care of security on my end and you guys could let me stay signed into my delicious account indefinitely, please? Nokia's answer to the iPhone may be coming October 2nd. I used Google Translator to get the details and I may have chosen the wrong start language because the news story says, quote, Nokia 5800 Express Music is not offered as a sophisticated operation as iPhone. For example, we'll be missing several fingers at the same time controlling the so-called multi-touch, end quote. From what clearly translated, I can tell you the 3.2 inch 640 by 360 display will have a touch screen. I think the missing fingers bit means it won't be multi-touch. The 5800 will be no Nokia's first phone to use its new Symbian S60 Taco 5.0. Mmm, Taco. It'll have a 3.2 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash and geotagging. The camera will shoot VGA quality video at 30 frames per second. Something has to be missing from the translation about the music player built into the phone because it said you can listen to classical despite the presence of audio headsets. Context clues indicate perhaps you can listen to music over a built-in speaker, not that you're limited to only listening to classical music. It also supports stereo Bluetooth headphones. Built-in memory is 150 megabytes, and that's expandable using a micro SD memory card. Pop Gadget has a story about the Apollo Pro WX from Amation. It's the first wireless USB hard drive. Wireless range is about 30 feet, and data transfer is about the same as you get with wired USB. There's also security built into the system to protect the data you have flying around your room. Capacity will be between 250 gigabytes and a terabyte. Prices aren't yet available, and wireless USB compatibility is limited to Kensington's four-port wireless USB docking station and certain Dell notebooks. I'm sure if that's the case, though, support for other devices will come along soon enough. You know, I thought we'd be getting loads of photography news this week, but much more is happening in the world of phones and phone accessories. Sony Ericsson announced a trio of Bluetooth-enhanced watches for women. Each of the three designs display caller ID information and vibrate when your phone rings or when you get an SMS. You can reject or mute a call with the button on the watch. Even cooler, you can use the watch to remotely control music on your phone. The sparkling Allure Edition is aimed at the funky fashionista. The Contemporary Elegance Edition is for the young mobile professional. And the Evening Classic Edition is the casual every woman's watch. If number one, you live in the UK, number two, you have a landline, and number three, you have Stanley Kubrick taste, have a look at the Colombo 2. The landline telephone has a two-line dot matrix display for caller ID, a white backlight, a 100 name and number phone book, 10 ringtones, a digital answering machine, it's wall mountable, and it comes in three colors. Expect to see one in a boutique hotel near you. I like the phone, but even more, I like the online store that sells it. It's called Colico. If you're a design geek, it's worth a look. Underneath the logo on the website, it has a quote by William Morris I want to live by. The quote is, have nothing in your house that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. I think I may have said this before, but Neil's a laundry geek. He dreams of the perfect laundry room, and he's always saying, oh man, I have this great idea for a laundry room. All I can do is nod my head because I do the dishes, not the laundry. The Delacare Basin is a laundry gadget I found on Ogizmo, and I hope to buy him one one day. It's a sink that you or perhaps Martha Stewart would install in a laundry room, and in addition to its normal sink duties, it has a set of 14 to 16 air jets powered by a 150 watt variable speed blower. It's essentially a little jacuzzi tub with a timer to gently wash delicate clothing. My guess is that it might also be relaxing for puppies. That's it for today. I'm still hoping for some exciting camera news from photo Kina, maybe tomorrow. GB1, GB2, GB3, you know the drill. GoDaddy.com. My code save you money. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. I do bad puppy dog guys. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being such a dork.